Alright, this is uh, Cabbage and Fructo, and we're watching... Not Skeletor! <laughs> the evil forces of Skeletor, what are we gonna do? Watching the games. <laughs> the games. So there you are, Adam. Oh, I'm digging this Von Galus too. Oh my god, it's Great. Fisto! Looks like you're getting the whole tour, Fisto. Yes! Jesus! Is he okay? Even if he isn't okay, anywhere. he has a big fist. Oh, uh, he's pretty intense. Ready, set, Best character. three, two, one, go! <laughs> Are these two ever not staked out of their minds? <laughs> it already has. The race is to see who can do nothing oh. the longest. You see, they can't move, blink, or make any visible motion. Oh, this the is, um... Does, Good lord! <laughs> this is our animation budget, guys. <laughs> oh, you lose again, cringe. I, I, I... lost? But how? When you talked, your lips moved. And if you move, you lose. Is his fist over retarded? <laughs> I gotta get that sense from him. <laughs> oh my god! He kinda, kinda reminds me of Crankor. Get fucked! <laughs> wow. That was brutal. That's the Sky Arca. Some of us are like fried on the Golden Dragon. Holy shit! An actual real life flying soldier. <laughs> It's With a disco fast. on top. <laughs> I wonder what it wants. Well, whatever it wants, I think we're about to find out. <laughs> we're Arco's parents. We've come to take him home. We do not approve of the one you call the cringe. <laughs> So, um... This is written by the guy who wrote Babylon 5. <laughs> yeah, that's not his best work. <laughs> God bless him for putting up this far, you know? Like, just for putting up the effort he put in here. That's a pretty fly spaceship. That will help us understand. We shall search among for the most powerful representatives of good and evil. They shall be I mean, good and evil is a pretty abstract concept, you have to understand. It's, you know, we can, we can start with some supplementary reading material. And, oh, I just want to do a Thunderdome thing, huh? Alright then. Get the strongest guys. Hey now. Don't sell yourself short, Fist. You've got a pretty big fist. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the special Thunderdor of Procto. all that is good on Eternia, and that choice will certainly be... He-Man, of course! And if they select He-Man, then they would have to select the most powerful... <laughs> Smash cut the Eternia. Skeletor. <laughs> Normally, that would be tea, but I believe I have a way to change that. Whoa! What the fuck? Behold! When does- why does he need that button, like, right there? <laughs> Whoa! It's a little invention, I oh! <laughs> That's actually pretty terrifying! Are they having- are they having subtle aneurysms? <laughs> Look at them! <laughs> Jesus, that's not good. How many fingers does that giant hand have? I count six? Yeah, it looks like six, yeah. This is probably the best animation I've ever seen. It's yeah, seriously, show. the quiet dignity of Spycor. <laughs> it's actually quite well animated. He's beautiful. He's a beautiful man. A yeah, seriously, he, of all the members, he actually has an air of dignity to him. Adam, you're They're somehow even bad. worse at this than you are in bed. Taylor, I've really got to be going. Oh, don't be silly, Adam. You're always rushing to go off somewhere, but nothing's more. She really than tries, than though. You know, like he just doesn't get it. He doesn't get that she's flirting with him. Oh yeah. He just doesn't get it. <laughs> that was too easy. Something on your mind? Well, I guess I'm just thinking about the Bendari. 
Make well, you can't tell me that a guy who dresses like him is going to be of time, it's getting late. Well, I, I mean, I know he's gay, it's just like, I kind of got the feeling that he was like, asexual completely, you know? Like, he just didn't, <laughs> just did not even <laughs> he doesn't know what sex is. Seriously, like, that's the sense I got from him. Like, he's kind of gay, but he also just does not understand the entire concept at all. Like, He's, he's got it together You're enough to wear purple until you underwear. Say goodbye to Fisto and we finish our practice. Uh, I guess you're right. She's <laughs> <laughs> just, just discovered the sky, too. <laughs> so he's, he's got, like, a giant fist? Is that, is that why they call him Fisto? He's got, like, a metal fist? Yeah, he's called Fisto because he has a big fist. Didn't realize it. <laughs> Why do we all bow to the whims of this machine? Step up in the world, Fisto. <laughs> There's just a six pack of four loco in there and like a gaggle of frat guys just egging them on. <laughs> you know, come on, faggot, man up. You gonna take that from this asshole? What's he doing to Spike? Making him more he's, evil. He's making him more evil. It's, I seriously think it's just a, like a pot. Like, like, okay, yeah. I can roll with that. Okay, let's all build a machine that makes you more evil and also unconscious. <laughs> I think he suffered brain damage. <laughs> <It's> okay. <laughs> Side effects may include dizzy spells, sickness, vomiting, brain damage. Uh. <laughs> brain damage seems to be a pretty significant part of the experience. <laughs> I think that's the majority of what happened to him. It's kind of noble, I guess. Really disappointed. The game is simple. You must seek out these game pieces and push the button on top. For each you find, you will receive 100 points, and this one red game piece is worth 2,000 points. <laughs> you can get like maybe a you spider ring with and like some tissue rolls for that amount of points. <laughs> like maybe. <laughs> the one who collects the most points wins. For some reason, if you are forced that to draw, must another must take your place. <laughs> He does have like a man of arms caliber stash, doesn't he? <laughs> like, I don't say that lightly, it's a, it's a decent stash. It's a big one. Well, man of arms is rocking the um, 80s corner mustache. Yeah, but he pulls it off. He actually, like, really pulls it off. Oh, he definitely does. Duncan yeah. is the king of stuff. Seeker says game pieces. There! There it is! Now to climb mountain and. We'll take care of that. Peace, man. Call in one of your feathered friends for a quick delivery of the game piece. Yes, Skeletor. <laughs> there. Game Whoa, piece. this is bananas. The game piece. <laughs> Why didn't they want <laughs> Spike Core to climb up? Like, he's he not done very that good at. He's not very good at anything. He's concerned about our hate to know. He's like, no, Spike Lord, just stand back. He just doesn't exactly have faith in his, like, well, his, you know, his, <laughs> his soldiers. I don't, know if you, I don't know if you know this, Fisto, but it's not really as straightforward as Frogger made it seem. <laughs> it's actually quite difficult to do that. Hey, he got past the cars okay, didn't he? Huh? He quite cool. clearly made it past the cars. So Amazingly it. so, but uh, this kind of this kind of happened, didn't it? Oh, he fell in the water. Came over. Spike Lord, 200. Fisto, 0. That little accident looked awfully fishy to me. It isn't fair! They're cheating! So why don't we cheat too? Because the point we have to prove to the Bandari is that good can win by following the rules. Still, it might be a good idea for He-Man to keep an eye on things. could have sworn he just said the Mimbari. Fisto could be hurt yeah. accidentally. <laughs> True enough. 
<laughs> he didn't stray from too much, too far from that little. Uh, By the power of Grayskull. So much. Uh, I'm beginning to think the whole like idea of the, you know, the egg hunt is not really exploring the concept of good and evil like it should. <laughs> well, it's um, not very good to go ahead and just steal Fisto's thunder, is it? Oh. 